Let's talk about hydrocele's. So what is a hydrocele? A hydrocele is basically a bag of fluid that collects around the testicle on one or both sides. And the patient basically just feels that their their scrotum or they might feel their testicle is is enlarged or swollen. And it can be very bothersome to some patients depending uh, on the size. So what is it and what are the treatment options? So to understand what it is, you have to have a little bit more of an understanding of the physiology, embryology, anatomy, and so forth. So basically, when you are a fetus living inside of the mother's uterus, your gonads, your testicles, are inside of your abdomen, right? If you become a female, they stay there in your pelvis as ovaries. But if you become a male, those testicles have to get out of the abdomen and down into the scrotum. And so on each side, they pass through this canal on their way into the scrotum. And that canal is called the inguinal canal, which is basically a small opening in the abdominal wall muscles that creates this connection between the abdomen and the scrotum. And that's where the testicle traverses down to the scrotum, generally happens before you're born. And that canal should close off uh, essentially entirely so that once you're born, there's really no communication between the abdominal contents inside and the scrotal contents. Now, if that canal opens up entirely, then that's what we call an inguinal hernia, which is the most common type of hernia, especially in men, where you can have abdominal contents like intestines going through that canal and into the scrotum or into the groin near the scrotum. And oftentimes that content is actual intestine you can put a stethoscope up to somebody's scrotum and hear their intestines so that's somewhat of a separate problem where you see a hernia surgeon to have that to have that fixed but a hydrocele you can think of as sort of a mini hernia where it's not an opening that's large enough for the intestines to go through but it's open enough to allow fluid to go through so a lot of times this is what we call a communicating hydrocele because there's a communication or a connection between the abdominal contents and the scrotal contents. So that fluid goes into the scrotum and causes that sort of sac to swell up. And in this communicating type, this sac can sometimes vary in size throughout the day depending on what you're doing and it can grow over the years. There's also a non-communicating type of hydrocele but it's generally an academic distinction that doesn't really affect the, the treatment. So we can just think of it as this sort of connection between the abdomen and the, and the scrotum that causes this sack of fluid to be there. Now, the first thing to know about a, hern about a, a hydrocele is that it's not at all dangerous. And so you don't have to do anything. It's not something that's a cancer or an infection. It doesn't affect your fertility or your testosterone or anything like that. So if it's not bothering you, you don't have to get it treated. And oftentimes they stop growing and you just sort of live with it. Especially if someone's elderly and has a lot of risk factors for having a surgery, they just leave it alone and that's perfectly fine. But for a lot of people, especially with large hydrocele's, it can feel like you're carrying a water balloon around with you and can cause a lot of discomfort. Usually people don't describe it as pain, but more of just an annoying feeling of having a huge scrotum. And so if that's the case and this is bothering you, then we talk about the, the treatment for it. Now, the simplest treatment for it is basically in the office, just put a needle in that sack of fluid and drain the fluid out. Uh, very easy to do, uh, very low risk, uh, high success rate. The, you can see it shrink uh, before your eyes, only takes a few minutes. The problem is that the sac is still there. Oftentimes that connection is still there. And so over the following months, it generally fills back up again. So it's not the greatest solution, but it is an option because it's so easy to, to drain a hydrocele, especially in an elderly patient who is not a good candidate to undergo an elective surgery. But if you're somebody who just wants to have this thing fixed, then the treatment is called a hydrocelectomy. Anytime you hear that suffix, ectomy means removal of. So hydrocelectomy is the surgical removal of a hydrocele. Uh, so this is an outpatient surgery, generally takes about 30 minutes or so. 
and uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, it's not a high risk surgery by, by any means. It's not a highly complex surgery. Pretty much any urologist can do this. So patient goes under general anesthesia, totally asleep, don't feel anything, don't remember anything, make an incision on the scrotal skin itself. Often it can be a pretty big incision if it's a large hydrocele. And then through that incision, basically dissect out the, the hydrocele, uh, separate it from, from the testicle, and basically cut out the entire sac. Um, once you cut out the sac, you basically put some stitches in it in a way that will hopefully prevent it from, from coming back. The stitches are all absorbable, and then you just basically put the testicle back where it came from and close everything up with absorbable stitches. Patient generally comes home with a drain, a little tube sticking out of their skin that's usually removed in the office a few days later, and then they live happily ever after. After that, uh, the risks of surgery are pretty low. Risk of an infection or bleeding or injuring the testicle is, is all pretty uncommon. Um, there is a, a risk that the hydrocele could come back. Uh, potentially years later, you can have the hydrocele come back. Uh, it's not, it's not very common, but, but definitely, definitely possible. Uh, so overall, it's a, it's a very safe, straightforward, effective surgery. Uh, and if the hydrocele is something that is bothering you, that you want to just get it fixed, it's, it's definitely a, a good option to, to consider. It's not really bothering you at all, especially if you have sort of a tiny hydrocele that was just sort of found on imaging. I would ignore it uh, entirely and not go through the whole process of, of having to undergo a surgery.